Hey guys, quick video just to show you how to upload your player DNA for the VBA League. Uh, from the main menu, you can go into Features, go down here to Create a Player, and then just Create a Player. Um, once you create a new player, just some information that um, will show you how to do it. You need to go into your vitals, make sure that your first name is actually your first and last name and your last name is your PSN ID that's very important first name first and last name last name PSN ID and then please go down here and put in your position um, uh, a college that is from the state that you live in and then your information down here um, most of this is not in super critical but um, your jersey number for sure and all of this information should match you're my player so that's the whole point of this is that you have to you're trying to make a replica of your my player so just go ahead and put in your vitals um, most of all this stuff down here is not super important just the very the top part is very important um, then the next section you need to do is your appearance it's important that this looks just like your player it won't let you do player scans so you have to just do an edit um, so just kind of get best you can go into the edit go through these features and just make it be as close as you can doesn't have all the hair colors all the hairstyles the beard colors but again just try and get as close as you can to your my player then you're gonna go do the body is the same make sure that your height and weight <clears throat> wingspan and shoulder width if you can remember but mostly your height and weight is what's important right here um, matching your my player then shoes and gear obviously um, you can put whatever the shoes are I think it'll let you put the shoes that you bought so it will actually let you put your real shoes that you um, made or or purchased and so do that make sure that it looks like you're my player and then same thing for all these other settings next thing you want to do is accessories that's your arm sleeve leg sleeve headband any of that kind of stuff that you have on exactly like your my club like your uh, 2k my player so when you get done this player should resemble exactly like your 2k my player so just go through here uh, upper body and lower body items make sure you put those on attributes go ahead and you can use your uh, my player card attributes and just make this match what your attributes will max out at not what they're currently are at <clears throat> but what they will max out at and don't worry about what the overall comes out to be also don't worry about what the build name comes out to be just as long as these attributes match what's on your my player um, and then any attribute that doesn't have an equivalent in your my player just go ahead and put at 99 so like for all these durability ones just put those all at 99 and just make sure that your regular uh, attributes match up so your defense offense make sure those match up with what's in your my player uh, what it will max out as uh, and then tendencies you can put that in but it's not critically super critically important but if you want your my player to simulate more like how you play then you want to put these in based on how you play when you play with your my player um, but those aren't super critical if you don't want to put those in hot zones as well those aren't super critical signature you probably want to make this one jump shot you can't use all the custom jump shots but you can get a jump shot that at least looks similar to yours so if we were to make a sim of your my player plan how would it look make it look as close as it can to your look um, and so again don't don't spend a whole lot of time but just make it look as close as it can to there um, and then you're gonna go down badges you can put your badges or not put your badges um, whatever badges you currently have or, or whatever you're gonna end up with but don't overdo it don't make it be more badges on here than you would be able to get with your my player right so just just don't overdo it um put his put your badges whatever you currently have or what you're going to get and then when you're done you're going to export player dna and when you export the player dna you're going to go just going to do add new player and then you're going to do sh save and share player dna and then this is the important part you're going to name this vba dash and then your my player name
and then your uh oops and then your my player name so oops sorry messed that up again uh that should be a dash not an underscore not sure why it's not let me do yeah so that should be a dash not an underscore and then your psn id and that's what it should look like and so we go ahead and put that in and I already have one so I'm just overwriting the one that I made before which is fine um, and then that's it so when you're all done you should be able to go to import DNA go to load download player DNA and then hit triangle to do a search and then search by content name and then if I go in here and I do VBA dash then I should be able to see all of all the player DNA's that are in there so if you do this and you don't see yours in here then you probably named it wrong but it should look just like this VBA dash and then your PSN ID um, and that's pretty much it so once you've done that you don't need to notify me or anything that you've done it when I come in here I'll do a search and then I'll be able to see who all has their player DNA's done um, so that's it if you named it just your username then you need to go back and it's very important that the VBA dash is in the front of it so that when I search I can see everybody's like this and I have to look them up individually so that's it um, please get this done this is very important because we're going to start building uh, league marketing materials and all this kind of stuff and we need these DNA's in here thank you